Ravan Tagati, it's a pleasure to have you here with us at the Economy Middle East Summit. Um, now, I want to talk about your report, Conflict and Debt in the Middle East and North Africa. You mentioned that there's a reluctance of insurers to engage in the Suez Canal due to the risks. What are the effects on the economy of Egypt and then, of course, the goods heading to Europe? Well, uh, thank you for having me. Um, what you are referring to is one of the repercussions of the tragic conflict conflict that we're seeing in the region right now and is one that is having effects globally. So what's happening is because of the attacks in the Red Sea, uh, shipping has been rerouted from the Suez Canal to the Cape of Good Hope. Um, and so this increased the time to deliver and also increased cost and the conflict has increased risk and this is what you refer to in the sense that um, insurers are more reluctant to insure because the risk um, has increased. Now uh, the economy of Egypt has been relying on uh, hard currency coming in from the Suez Canal and what we saw in, e in January was that um, basically these uh, revenues have been halved for the month of January. So there is that significant repercussion and still to be seen uh, how it will evolve in the month going forward. At the moment, what we saw until February is that um, the shipping industry was able to cope quite well because most of the contracts had been signed uh, beforehand. And post pandemic, there had been a sort of abundance of ships and shipping uh, that was able to be deployed to uh, face these um, increases in the uh, trajectory and the path to get to Europe from China. And you've just come off your panel. If I was to ask you what are some of the key takeaways the audience should walk away with from the Economy Lease Summit with regards to what you discussed? Oh, this is a big question. So let me focus on the Middle East and North Africa. So some takeaways. Return to lackluster growth, which means 2.7%, which is around the average that we saw in pre-pandemic. And lackluster means low chronic growth. Um, end of the tale of two menas, meaning that um, the divergence between the growth rates of oil exporting countries, particularly GCCs and oil importing countries, has narrowed. Um, uh, a sort of more positive outlook for 2024 than what we saw in estimated growth in 2023. In 2023, we had a growth in the region of 1.9, and for 2024, we forecast 2.7. So things are looking up, but they could be better. And something that uh, was mentioned in our panel, which I think is very important, is the need to uh, find sources of growth for productivity, uh, find ways for the private sector to grow, rebalancing the role of the public and the private sector so that the private sector can grow and with that create jobs, which are essential for a region like ours, which has uh, an abundance of youth and really the potential to reap the demographic dividend.